The job of a school bus driver is a major responsibility. Bus drivers have the responsibility to inspect the bus and make sure it is safe for all passengers. They have the responsibility to manage student behavior on the bus. They also have to operate the bus in a safe and defensive manner, report mechanical issues, and even deal with parents. However, there is another part of being a school bus driver that requires your full attention. It is one of the most dangerous parts of operating a school bus. Loading and unloading the school bus is something that drivers have to do several times each school day. The most dangerous part of a school bus ride for students is getting on and off of the bus. In this video, we're going to cover safe loading and unloading procedures for school bus drivers. We will also go over the importance of keeping track of students in the danger zone and what you should teach them about getting on and off of the school bus safely. The video is going to be divided into three sections. While watching this video, keep in mind this important issue. The parents of the students who ride your bus trust you with the lives of their children. It is your job to maintain your undivided attention and focus in all aspects of operating the school bus. As mentioned, this is a huge responsibility. Now let's get into the first section of the video where we will give a brief introduction and overview of loading and unloading, as well as danger zone safety. The job of a school bus driver requires multiple demands. One of the biggest demands for school bus drivers is getting students on and off of the bus safely. Loading and unloading the school bus is the single most dangerous procedure for students and drivers. Here are alarming statistics to consider. Every year, 33 school-aged children die in school bus-related accidents. Nearly two-thirds of students killed in school bus crashes are killed outside of the bus. Two-thirds of that total are killed by the school bus itself, and half of all school-age pedestrians killed by school bus-related crashes are five to seven years old. It is also important to note that the most fatal school bus-related crashes occur during the day and in clear weather. In most cases, students are killed or injured by their own bus. As a school bus driver, you are legally responsible. As a human being, you will have to live with that experience for a lifetime. School bus drivers should know the danger zone represents the greatest risk for serious injury to students. Whenever students are loading and unloading, they will be in the danger zone. It extends at a minimum of 10 feet all around the bus. Extreme caution must be exercised when students are inside the danger zone. 